Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Friday, August 16th. Great, beautiful Friday, guys. It's, it's a beautiful day. The weather's a little chilly, but it's crisp, and it, it shouldn't be hot for a lot of you guys. So go out and have a great day today. God bless every single one of you. Now, we do have our update on NOAA, and it looks like the first disturbance is has a 40% chance now. Uh, the shower activity associated with the broad non-tropical low-pressure system located about 600 miles east-southeast of Bermuda has become a little better organized this morning. Uh, additional gradual tropical or subtropical, subtropical development of this system is possible through the middle of the next week while the low meters, uh, meters over the central Atlantic well to the southeast of Bermuda. 20% uh, chance in the 48 hours. 40% chance within the next five days. And then disturbance 2 now has 30%. Uh, it is uh, oh, some gradual development of the system will be possible through the middle of next week while it remains nearly stationary over the southwestern uh, Caribbean Sea. Which is a good thing because I have some good news to share today. And I'm telling you, you're going to like what the models have to show us today. That's why I might sound so cheery because it's a lot of good news. A lot of stuff I can deal with. Now, the Euro, the Euro model, if you go to the 204 hour, this is on the 24th, it's a Saturday, it's not picking up anything before that. But all of a sudden, it picks up a low pressure uh, in the Gulf that don't do much, you know, just because there's a pressure in the Gulf, don't get worried, but it shows that it don't do much. Uh, as it goes through, it shows it goes over Florida and it goes up the East Coast, but it stays a weak uh, low pressure system. It, it brings rain, it brings some p possible flash flooding, some thunderstorms, but it's not bringing, here it is over here, it's not bringing any hurricane tendencies or a tropical uh, storm or any tendency. It just rods up the coast as a weak uh, tropical cyclone. So that's a good thing. That I could deal with. So Euro, please stick with that. Uh, GTPS, you go to the 102 hour, which is not far. It picks up the low pressure system in the, excuse me, in the Western Caribbean. And it, if it, as you can see, there's multiple systems down here. And this plays a big role because there's an option. Remember, ahead had option three. Well, option one, it can turn like GFS been showing. Uh, Euro has been showing a lot of activity uh, over here by the Yucatan. A lot of models have been showing that as well this morning. But none of them has the tendencies like we've been seeing. I uh, show that these systems over here on the western, uh, on the eastern Pacific, but the western Mexico, they start playing a role in sucking these low pressures out of this potential dangerous area that we've been watching. Now, as I go up every six hours, you'll see this pressure system move up and it stays low. It don't have any strong formation. It just dances around the whole time around the Western Car Caribbean. Yeah. And then you can see up here on the right, you can see the other uh, disturbance doing a, some kind of formation over here in the corner. I will show you that as well. But let's follow this one first and you see how weak it is. I'm just so happy to show a weak storm now. I'm tired of getting my, my head chewed off, to be honest with you. But th this low pressure system is what I would like to see. This is the one that we saw the other day that just putt-putt over the Cuba and then went on. Uh, but on this model, it shows it still putt-putts. It still stays weak. So I like this. It's a good one. Then the dance is on the tip of Florida. It's a 1,001 millibars Florida. I wouldn't even worry about that. That is a slight breeze. And then here's a shot right here on the east coast. So you can see everything that happens from where this cell goes after that. Now this is already on the 23rd, which is a Friday. It starts getting a little bit of pressure, 992, 987. It's almost a hurricane, but it's not close enough to do any problems for anybody. And then on the 24th, it becomes a hurricane in the northeast as it pulls away. But it's not anywhere close to y'all from what I'm showing so far. 972, gets down to 968, so it does start ramping up. 964, and then it goes away. And then if you look down here, the second one comes from the Florida one we just watched. The first, this one up here was the one we saw dancing around. And that one turns into a hurricane and goes away. The second one comes up by Florida. Now you're up to the shot, where it goes after it goes across Florida. And this is about as far as it goes. This is about as far as we can see. But it's still a low pressure system uh, moving by Florida and the, and the Carolinas. So it's 1,001 millibars. That is, that is a very weak uh, pressure system, guys. 
Now, if you look on the Windy and you go to the rain accumulation, you'll see that the GFS is sh still showing a pattern of heavy accumulation, and it's been showing this for a minute now. It's still going to be uh, west, of, west of Jamaica, it's still going to go across Cuba, over the Bahamas, east of Florida. And the heaviest part looks like it's over here but towards Georgetown, uh, Santa Clara on Cuba, and then go across Nassau and, Mar and Marston Harbor. And then it weakens up and there's no more rainfall from it. Now the Euro is showing that there's a lot of activity over here in the, in, the, uh, in the Western Caribbean and there is a couple stretches. There's one stretch that goes out towards the Bahamas and there's one stretch that goes out towards the Yucatan still. So we got to see exactly what's going to come out of that. Uh, really, really don't know for sure until it does happen. Now this is GFS. This is on Wednesday the 21st. And as I run the model, you'll see what this low pressure system is going to do. And you'll also see what this low pressure a system is going to do in the Western Caribbean. So this is both the motions we have. And both of them can mess with each other because if they get a ridge going together, the, the one in the, in the Western Atlantic could pull uh, the one in the Western Caribbean north to northeast and pull it out. But at the same time, that's why it would be making this north to northeast direction because this high ridge that's getting created by both storms being so close together. But it does show it going over Cuba, getting heavy rainfall, going over Bahamas and towards eastern Florida. And then that's the last shot that we have of this thing. Now, if you go in and check what the Euro says about this model. Let me play it for you. Now, the Euro shows that this pressure system over in Atlantic, this disturbance, uh, just swirls around and don't do any problems. As a matter of fact, it shows that it does a, a sharper turn than what we seen a minute ago, and it don't go up the East Coast. It just stays on the edge of the Western Atlantic. And then it shows also, uh, right here, if you look on the Western Caribbean, that this pressure system starts expanding out and then transfers the energy over here to where the Euro picked it up a minute ago, where it picked it up in the Northern Gulf. You see the pressure? It's still a weak pressure system. But it, but it expands out, and then it becomes over here in the, in the northern Gulf by Florida. And this is the where we picked up where the Euro said, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, where the Euro said it was in the Gulf, and it rides up the coast up here. Now, this, this is according to Euro. Euro is showing that you're going to have a problem right there as far as these tracks. Now, this is a GFS model over on Tropical Tidbits. And if you notice the GFS model on Tropical Tidbits, they all, all the models are showing a little something different but also a little something same. Now, if you see this first disturbance, it does show that it does a twirl and it goes back out and don't even get close to any landfall. And the second disturbance, it agrees that it comes over Cuba, but after it goes over Cuba, it goes right up the coast and goes out with no effects. And you see that snowfall coming after that, some heavy snowfall as well. So the Euro is starting to show that they both curve out and it's minimal damage, 162 millibars is what I show is the lowest, 161, 961, sorry. And at, at 958 right there as it leaves, but that's it, minimum damage. Now, if you go to the, the para, the GFS para uh, model, you'll see a little something different. Uh, the para model is, is still showing that there's a, a low pressure dancing around the Yucatan, and that's what pulls... Uh, the disturbance too more westerly towards the Yucatan, and it's been showing this for a minute. And the first uh, pressure system, the first uh, depression right here, shows this nice sharp curve. So a lot of consistency with this being a fish storm for disturbance one. It shows it can do something, but it can be a fish storm. But if you watch right here when it goes over Cuba, this one does a little something different. This one starts curving left, and it wants to go into the Gulf. For some reason it just that's the path it wants to take and it's been showing that a few times now uh, it's, it's not para it's, it's v16 but it's showing that there's something trying to get in that direction so we just got to wait and see exactly what it, what's going to happen that's 964 on the tip of florida right there and that's about as low as it as strong as it gets and then it moves away so there's a good chance that, that the, the third run of this possibility possible going out into the pacific is a good opportunity that's why i'm really happy about this i think it is a good chance of that now when i go to pivotal weather and go to gfs v16 and put it on 120 hours and just follow this low low pressure system that's right here you can see 
multiple low pressures are going to be in the Western Caribbean at one time. What, I mean, I know, I know that could spell bad things, but on this one, it spells a really good thing, guys. This low pressure system actually pulls this pressure system out. So as we follow it along, you can watch the movement of these pressure systems dancing around. There's going to be a bunch of pressure systems down in this area. That's why this area we have to watch uh, for October. Now it starts getting strength as it heads towards the Yucatan Peninsula. And it starts making landfall uh, over in that region all the way down to 938. So that's going to be a strong hurricane that's going to be affecting if, it, if this track does show true. Then it dances around and dances around and it just it just whips into that corner and just it goes it goes in finally on the 28th. But it's going to be a lot of storm surge, a lot of wind damage if this track would show, show uh, true for them. So God bless you all over there in Central America. I hope it this would not play out as well. But I hope that the weakness and the bad steer of it does stay away from from the U.S. So I'm loving that. Now, on, on the 31st, on Halloween, it shows that it makes it across the Yucatan, and it starts getting into the far western, uh, southern region of the Gulf, and it winds down, and it slowly disappears. I like that. I hope that one comes out true, because that's the one that I want to see. Now, if you go to GFS, just to give you another look at another model, this is on the 21st, this is 126 hours away, you'll see the pressure systems dance around. But that's all you're going to do is just see them dance around. That's why I'm trying to say it's good news today, guys. Most of the models are showing that these things are just going to stay weak and just putt-putt around and nothing is going to come out of them. I mean, yes, they do dance around the Western Caribbean. They get on the edge of the Yucatan and it gets a little iffy. But I feel like we're protected with this cold front. And I don't think anything could come out of these models showing nothing can form. I mean, they go westerly, but they're weak. They're so weak. And if you look at the GFS model run, you'll see that the, the possible uh, uh, spaghetti models for the, the first disturbance does, sh does agree with there's a sharp curve. There's a sharp curve that's going to happen that would not bring this to the East Coast. And then as you watch it go through, you'll see it spin up and it spins out. And as well as the one in the Caribbean, uh, this one actually does show that it does become a hurricane. Uh, but when it gets over Cuba, it starts getting to hurricane strength. That's what that yellow is. That yellow you see right here, 82. That's hurricane strength. You see the, the legend on the top. And then it goes by the Bahamas, and then it scoots out. And at this point, this is on the 25th, 87, 88. That's, just a, that's a strong Cat 1 hurricane. And if this right here... Would play out. I know for sure that I mean, even though it's going to be rough, it's going to be some bad scenarios. But this is way better than the scenario that we've been seeing on anything we've been having. Matter of fact, I'd rather the one that just shows it putt putting around and just disappears, because that would be uh, way better good news to me than everything that we, else that we've been seeing. Because we've been seeing a lot of crazy things, uh, if you can agree, for these last week or so. Now let me play this for you so you can see it as it goes. But guys, it is a beautiful Friday. Please stay up spirits, stay good-minded, spread the joy. It, it is a, a beautiful day, okay? It truly is. Now, I'd like to read to y'all Romans 12. And I, I love Romans. It's a very good chapter. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we, being many, are, a, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our, on our ministering, or he that teacheth, 
on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortations. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness, let love be without dis- dis- dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love, and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality, bless them which persecute, which persecute you, bless and curse not, rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep, be of the same mind one toward another, mind not high things, but, con- but condensed to men of low estate, be not wise in your own conceits, recompense to no man evil for evil, Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore I find enemy hunger, feed him if he thirst, give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. But not overcome of but but not overcome of evil, but overcome evil of good. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope y'all have a great today day today. Stay happy. Be happy in the Lord. He's, he lives in all of us, guys. Amen. Look, this looks like this be the worst case scenario. We've been seeing this so far. Hopefully it stays this. Hopefully we don't see anything. Yes, they do dance around and that shows bad news. But right now we're not showing that the bad news is is the only possibility okay (laughs) so y'all have a great day today i appreciate you hit the like button for me i do appreciate that guys and please share if you do have time share the good news nothing may not come out of this that that would be a, a good thing thank you again all glory does go to god amen